three RC and we're back. We have another plane and I have bronchitis. Yep, I'm uh, sick as a dog currently, but I couldn't wait. And as a wise woman once said, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're here with the FMS Ranger. Now I am a jet guy. I love jets. That's what got me into this hobby originally was I wanted to be able to fly jets. But getting into this hobby, I found out something. I found a guilty pleasure and that is float flying. And when I was looking at airplanes for float flying, I wanted to find something that was affordable, big, and look dope. And guess what? I found the Ranger. And the videos I seen, this thing looks awesome. It has the yellow pattern on it with the checkered pattern mixing in with it. And I just think that looks really neat. The name Ranger is kind of cool too, like that, that Ford Ranger. I know this truck. I know a stranger. I know that truck. That's a Ford Ranger. So what I plan to do with this is get this all assembled. Now this is the ready to fly version, RTF. So it should have everything we need, which is perfect for a beginner like me. I still kind of learning the ropes and figuring out what I'm doing. This supposedly has everything, the transmitter, the battery, uh, and the plane. All we got to do is plug it all in. It says easy to assemble somewhere on here. Also, if you're watching and you fall in love with this Ranger like I did, I'll have links down below so you can purchase it. It's an affiliate link helps kick back some money towards me so it can help me make content and fly and do all that kinds of sorts of stuff at no extra cost to you, all right? And guess what? I'll also throw in some coupons for you guys so you can save a few extra bucks. Let's see how simple it is to assemble. First things first, let's see what we got in the box. I'm just gonna start taking everything out and laying it out on the table so we can see everything we got. Like I said, this comes with a transmitter. This one actually looks pretty cool. It also has a bunch of baggies of stuff that we're gonna use later on and a battery, which I thought was insane. I can't find ready to fly planes that come with batteries anymore, so shout out to FMS. Here's the landing gear. We're not really gonna be using that because I'm going strictly floats, baby. But checking out the wheels, they are pretty squishy. It even comes with a charger and this one looks pretty solid. Like it's not insane, but it's gonna get the job done. So I was stoked to see that. A hefty manual, which is good to see. Um, and it's only hefty because it comes in a bunch of different languages. The instructions are actually pretty short. Here's what we're after, the floats. These things are ginormous. And it's really awesome because they plug in so I can actually control this thing in the water. Unlike my UMX one, that one's just a pain to float around in the water. It goes kind of where it wants. This one is steerable. Here's the fuselage. It's actually pretty light and I am loving these colors. I'm telling you, this plane looks beautiful. You don't see many in like a colorway like this and I just love it. It's what stood out to me right away. I think we have just a couple more things in the box here. Just a couple of packages of screws, things like that. We have the elevator that will be putting on. And then there was also a couple of support rods for the floats. We'll set those here. Oh, and our nose cone. One thing I love to see is that the push rods are already installed on the rudder and the ailerons. One thing I didn't like to see was this training landing gear that's on the front. It does good for trainers, but not for what we want to do. We want to install these floats. And uh, with the floats on, I see some people flying it with that front landing gear on, and I don't like how it looks at all. So we're going to take that off right now. So it's actually way easier than what I was expecting. You pull this hatch off, pull some of this 3M tape that's on this board. Uh, I did peel a little bit of the board up with it. Don't tell anybody that's between you and me, all right? So you take that off, get this strap out of the way, and you're gonna find a screw. You see that little screw in there? Get a screwdriver on that, it's a Phillips head, it's small, you unscrew it, and that landing gear literally popped right out. It was literally that one screw and that was it. And it looks a million times better when you got the floats on. So now that that's done, let's flip this over and start to get the elevator installed. The elevator is gonna be simple. It's got two screws. So we're gonna put it right here as a little slot for it to slide in. And then you push down and line up those holes. Now there's a couple screws that are 
in the bags. There's a short one and a long one. Don't use the short, use the long one. The instructions didn't do the best job of explaining that, but I figured it out just after looking at it for a little bit. They also included an Allen wrench, which is really nice. Thanks for including the Allen wrench, because now I don't have to dig through all my Allen wrenches to figure out what size this is. Um, so installing that, super easy. Couple, two, three turns in there, and uh, we'll be good to go on the elevator there, but what is this? What the hell is this? A connecting rod? I thought they were installed! It's not that bad. It's really not that big of a deal. So I did notice while trying to put it in that the hole is a little bit too small. So I tried to take my knife and then carve it out a little bit, but that wasn't doing the trick. The tip of my knife was just a little bit too big. So an X-Acto knife, put that in that topmost hole, and that worked like a charm. I just spun it a couple two or three times in there and then I was able to slide in the connecting rod easy peasy not too easy though it's gonna stay in there all right and then we just clip it onto the back you have to spin it here a few times to get it lined up you want to make sure that elevator is nice and straight Perfect, now that our elevator is on, it's time to get to the wings. Now these were a little bit different than the wings I've seen on other planes. Oh, just gotta put that there, sorry about that. A um, Little bit of tape on here, take that off, unwrap that, and we'll put that uh, here. Um, uh, anyway, so on each wing, you're gonna pull out the aileron wires, they're really long got plenty of room for activities with those and then these are just gonna slide together it's a little bit awkward uh, but you can do it I promise all right super easy I felt like Clark Griswold plugging in the wires on Christmas vacation Same, same, but different, all right? Now that we have them stuck together, let's get them really stuck together. We gotta take two of our little screws here and put those into the wings. One goes on the top side and then one will go on the bottom side. Now this part I got to talk to you guys about. This was a little weird. So there's these two plugs that go into the wings that hold it to the body. What they do is they go in and then you twist and then it makes it so you can take them off, put them on nice and easy. However, the first time that you put them on, holy cow, do these twist hard. It's like you're like breaking something in order to do it the first time. I don't know. This one I was able to get, but it was still tough and it felt like I, I broke something. It was weird. But this one. This one gave me hell. I am twisting with all my might. Now, I may not be the strongest lad in the in the lands, okay? But I feel like I should be strong enough to twist a plug on a styrofoam airplane. We went and got the heavy equipment, all right? Players and a microfiber to not rash it up. Twisting this, oh my God. I was 90% sure I broke something, but that's just all it took. It's on there. Solid. Mounting the support rods from the wings couldn't be easier except for my big fat head getting in the way. So from this side, you can see all you do is slide it into place and then click it back, bada bing, bada boom. Flipping this puppy over, it's time to get them floats on them big pontoons, baby! Honestly, wasn't too bad. Pontoons are always a little tricky uh, to assemble just because like, I, I don't know, they go on kind of weird together, but it, again, it was easy. You just put in the two support rods that go in the front and then there's the rods that actually connect to the airplane that go in second. You can see me finagling with it here. Um, I just kind of set them in there to get an idea of what was going on. Once all your rods are in, there's gonna be four little screws that go in um, to each side, so eight total. Pretty easy, 
then you can mount it to the plane. It goes in pretty simple, it fits exactly how it should. I was really excited about the fitment of all parts on this airplane. Everything felt quality, it felt really dang good. So we're putting those in and then there's two little caps that go on the front and then there's a big plastic piece that goes on the rear. Four screws into the front, they're super easy to put in, they're the short little ones. And then for the rear, that one plastic piece I was talking about and then four more screws. I put two shorts in the front and two longs in the back. They're stable, they're on there. I double check, see? Now one thing I gotta get used to working on bigger planes is I have low ceilings and I need to not break the wing tips off. Other than that, this thing is starting to look like a beaut, but I did realize I need to take the wings off, that way I can connect that extra rudder wire that's coming from the pontoon on the passenger side. So we're gonna wire that up through the bottom. It goes through the bottom into the bay underneath the wings. And then there's a little uh, splitter connector that goes on that connects to your main rudder wire and then it splits and then it connects to both. So that way your rudder is now controlling the pontoon. Also, they were nice enough to include some clear zip ties. They really thought of everything and everything comes with the plane. So we'll get the wings back mounted up. Wasn't too bad now that I felt like I broke them earlier. They twist in nice and easy now. Click on the front and then the last thing to add is our nose cone. There is just a little bit of assembly for the transmitter. There's the stick ends that just screw on. I really like them, they feel great. Side note, there is no double A's though. Those are not included. What a beaut this plane is. I absolutely love it and setup went phenomenal. It was actually a really enjoyable process other than me being sick and coughing every five seconds. Appreciate you guys dealing with me. So let's do the first startup. I don't know if this needs to be bound to the transmitter, for some reason in my head. Since it's the RTF, it might already be bound, so we're just gonna try it. Otherwise, it does come with a bind plug, which maybe so it does need to be. Uh, oh crap, I shoved all the wires back. Where are my battery connection? Here they are. Okay, so let's turn our transmitter on. Which I kinda like that transmitter, it's cool. Ooh, okay, this, oh. Hey, yo. I was gonna say, maybe it needs a little more juice to get it going, but she sounds like she's ready to get going. Now let's check our control surfaces, or if we're bound, we might not even be bound. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Right, left, looks good. Up, down, sick. It's smooth. Let me see, it should have. I gotta figure out what all the switches do. Cause this does have like a safe and gyro in it, which I'm excited to try. Woohoo! She got some juice. Rudder. Oh, look at that. And if you can see down here, it's working too. Oop. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited to maiden this thing. I like this little transmitter. It's nice too. My dog approves of it. She likes it. All right, guys, overall, I'm so damn impressed with this bird here. The Ranger so far is phenomenal and we haven't even got into the sky or the water. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment for the Maiden. I rate this going together 10 out of 10. It was phenomenal, it was easy. The instructions were simple and anything that wasn't in the instructions was so easy that I was able to figure it out within seconds. It went together beautifully. I think the plane looks phenomenal. It even looks better in person than it does on camera, I swear. If you guys are interested, check out those links. Again, you can pick it up for yourself. Use the coupon to save some money and make sure you subscribe, like, and comment because the Maiden's coming up soon. And I got another plane to unbox. It's sitting right there. All right, it's sitting right there. I want to get to it. I just got to get over this cold. Thank you, guys. Let's sortie.